It's Elgin Tensity, aka Dr. Trap Hatton. Let's get up in these questions. Franklin and Traps. Do I need to progressive overload every time I go into the gym? How often should I be adding weights slash reps to my workout? I am relatively a beginner. Yes, but don't add weight for the sake of adding weight. If you can't lift it properly, then stick with the weight you're doing now and just add reps. As far as how much to add, if you're a beginner, you're going to make crazy gains anyway. So don't be too concerned with how much weight you're adding every week or how many reps. It'll just happen if you're lifting properly and you're not being stupid. You're on the right track. Also, don't do master plan style fucking iron arm zercher shrugs. No gains there. Question, does CrossFit have any advantages if done with proper form and done properly in a non-competitive setting? Most of the negatives I see are form. There's a shit ton more than that. So what gains would you get from doing it with proper form? If you perform CrossFit recreationally with proper form, you'll burn a lot of calories. That's pretty much all you'll get from it, because it's hopping around with a sandbag on your ass. But you won't be good at anything, and you won't look like you even lift. Also, once the beginner effect wears off, you're stuck there with a sandbag in one hand and a fucking dialysis machine in the other hand, and no gains. So, what are the gains from doing CrossFit? Don't do CrossFit. I think that answers your question. There go those fucking clouds again. Jurassic Trap. Just one trap. What made you become a lawyer? Also, what kind of advice would you give to a college student? Period. Well, some fucking punctuation lesson. I'm just kidding around. P.S. Upload more videos of you lifting and what you eat throughout the day. I post some pictures of my meals on my Instagram page. More videos of myself lifting. I will. What made me become a lawyer? I already answered that in another Q&A video. Check the Q&A playlist on the channel. Advice I'd give to a college student. Well, first, as important as good grades are, making connections is even more important. Managers are more likely to hire the people they know. So getting good with them and or the people who work right beneath them and you're golden. Nobody gives a shit about your grades once you start working or once you enter the workforce, but the connections you make are always going to be important. Also, don't blow off classes just because you don't like them. In college, you're going to take classes you don't necessarily want to take, your, your mandatory classes. But learning to thrive outside of your comfort zone is one of the few skills that you can take into the real world. Because if you learn how to deal with a dipshit professor, that'll teach you how to deal with a dipshit employer later on. Would you rather participate in C.T. Fletcher's master plan program for all three days and complete the full routine and pay the $2,500 or get a tattoo of Rich Piana's face on both of your traps? Edited. My ass. That wasn't edited at all. I will get a temporary tattoo of Rich Piana's face on both of my traps. And then draw some shit around it. Put a mustache on Rich Piana. I'll draw Chuck Basher right behind him, ready to pitch. And then take a picture of it, put it on Instagram, and tag them. Because I don't like those guys at all. <laughs>